Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set up a tier 2 ME system. I guess it would be considered a tier 2 ME system. This is essentially the kind of system that you want to set up once you have a lot of the basic stuff already done. So we can go and take a look at it now. Um, it's essentially we've run out of space in our ME system. I've got two drives, I've taken some out already. Uh, but to expand your ME system beyond this kind of setup, you need to use ME controllers. And the reason for that is, without using controllers, you can only have up to eight things connected to your ME system. And as you can see by this uh, ME smart cable, which shows you how many channels are in use, we're on eight of eight at the moment. And that is because we have two drives, that's one, two channels. We have an import bus, three channels a security terminal, four channels, the crafting terminal itself, five channels, the access port, six channels, and we have two other wireless access points out in the world, which there's one over there underneath that platform and one way out over there. I picked up an egg. But yeah, we've got full wireless coverage. So to expand your ME system, as I said, you're going to need these ME controllers. Where did I put them? Oh, I have them here. Okay. <coughs> so first things first, we're going to need to disassemble this. So make sure, uh, make sure you have everything that you're going to need <laughs> before you disassemble your ME system, because otherwise it's kind of a pain. These are all 64k drives, so we've spent a lot of time making things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're going to want to take down this ender chest, which I've been using to transport mob drops and other stuff into our ME system automatically. Uh, we can take down this, take down the import bus, which has got some cards in it, and uh, pop those all in here. I'm going to need the drives in a minute, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, take down you, 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 take down you. Okay, do we have enough space to store things? Probably not. Uh, we'll keep that one on us because we're going to need that one before most of the other things. Why won't you? Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know why they won't uh, go into stacks, but whatever. Um, so, how do we want to do this? Uh, I think the best way for us at the moment is going to be to... We'll move you down a bit. And you will have the energy acceptor. You still need an energy acceptor, I think, with ME controllers. So we can have you here I think. Does that matter? You can still open, that's good. Not that I, th I don't think it actually matters with ender chests, does it? Um, so, we're going to have drives all around the ME system itself and we need controllers around all of that. To set this up we're going to need to take out these blocks here because we need space around the back. Um, we might actually move this one forward one. You are Ender Energy Conduit. You can go there and we can have the Energy Acceptor wherever it is. We can have you... Oh, you need to go down one. You need to go down one, okay. Not a problem. Okay. You can go down here. Where's it gone? There it is. Right, so how we want this set up is we want drives around the terminal so that we're going to have a lot of storage. Uh, but to do that, we the best way I've found of doing it is to have the ME controllers around a drive. So we're going to go two, three, and one more, and over here, whoops, didn't mean to do that, 
you come back here. And one, two, three. So now we've got a big fancy thing. So we can put the drives around that, like so. And we can connect them all up. Whoops, nearly. Thank God I can fly in this. Uh, we're going to connect them all up with these ME smart cables, which should go like so. Just going to connect the entire thing. I don't think you actually need it all connected, but um, essentially, once you have it connected, each of these bits you can have eight um, channels coming off of that. So it's going to expand what we can actually do. So we're going to go up one more, I think it is. Yep. So there we go. And now we can put the crafting terminal in the center, like so. You're on. And these are all carrying 0 of 8 channels at the moment. We can start reassembling our ME system. So, we can put you on. These, I think, are going to be counting as one channel. I'm not sure. It's difficult to see. But, yeah. <coughs> I wonder if it would be... We could have that one out one, I think. Let's do it like that, actually. Yeah, so that is all nice now. We could actually move it up one if you wanted to just have the colourful thing around it, but it's not particularly important. So this should all be powered. Now is the moment of truth. So we're going to take our drives and start popping them back in here. We're powered. Good. And pop the rest of them back in. And there's loads of them. There's a whole heap of them. Let's uh, clear some space in our inventory. So we can do it all a bit quicker. Uh, what do I pick up then? Something that I didn't want to pick up. Right. So, uh, you as well. So we can just pop all of these back in here and we should be able to run all of these without a problem now. So, hopefully, this is going to work. <laughs> right. I think it's working anyway. Right, so as you see, I don't have enough drives to fill up the entire thing, but... Yeah, we are all connected on all of them. So now we have everything that we did have, it's all back there. And from these ME controllers, you can actually directly do things like export items. So you remember we had the ender chest uh, with the import bus. We can I think we can just pop that one. Well, actually, you could pop it just directly connected to the ME controller, but seeing as it's set up the way it is, uh, we can just pop it uh, here. Import bus, and a chest. And we're still fully powered on everything. So, I'm probably going to need to re register my terminal. Yep, we'll just check that our wireless system's working, it's working there. We'll check out in the world itself. Out, uh, forget where the wireless finishes there, so yep, we have it all done and my chest is burning. That's pretty cool. Doesn't really matter, they don't actually catch on fire. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that will conclude our little tutorial. Hopefully you found it interesting or informative. If you did, uh, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you found this interesting and you wanted to see more of this kind of stuff and I will do my best to make it happen. So yeah, 
I'll see you all later, guys. Cheerio.